So I wanted to steal Martin's slide from earlier because I love that. So like, don't be a wimp. Join the Moodle Users Association. So what is the Moodle Users Association? So um, basically, we are not Moodle. We're a separate organization. Um, we are a nonprofit e entity just made up of people like us. Um, where it's run by a committee of volunteers. Um, we just elected a new committee last month, um, and there's 10 of us, and we're from all over the place. So I think we have three from the US, three from Europe, one from Australia, one from Japan. Um, I think that's, oh, and one from Canada. So um, we have a really good mix, and, what, and the neat thing about our um, committee this year, I think half of us are transplants. So we've moved from pretty much one side of the world to the other. So I escaped from England a couple of decades ago. Um, we have people that went from Australia to England, from US to Canada. So I think we, that gives us kind of that cultural um, view that Moodle is looking for. So our, um, our thing has been coming together to just design the next Moodle. And I think that's pretty fitting describing what we're trying to do. Um, I think we could also change that, and we could be empowering users to change Moodle, so, um, and tie in with Moodle's new theme as well. Um, but we have our own rules and procedures that we have to follow. Um, they're available on our website. But basically what we do is, um, there's ways to affect change in Moodle. So you can come to these moots and you can bug the Moodle HQ guys, right? You say, you know, we really need to do this, and we need to do this. Um, we have Tracker in Moodle, and so that's a great way if there's bugs or feature requests, you can put them in Tracker. Um, but as just general users, the Moodle Users Association gives you another route to do that. And so basically what we do is we take in um, dues from members, and members are literally just individuals, to universities, to colleges, schools. Um, so we take in their dues, and then we fund projects. So as a single user, and somebody said that how cheap it is, I think it's a, it comes to about 75 bucks US um, for an individual um, membership, you can submit a project proposal, and if it gets voted on, then it gets pushed out to Moodle. Hopefully we have enough funds to fund it. We have so far, and it becomes reality. And so within you know about six months, you could actually see your little project idea that you've come up with for Moodle actually enveloped and developed into core and um, sent out for everyone to benefit from. So it's a really neat way to go through that. Um, so we, um, I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm, I'm not a PowerPoint person. You're going to have to forgive me. I wander. So, um, but reasons for joining. It's a great way just to support Moodle as a whole. Basically, you're helping to um, put a little bit of funding into Moodle, and Moodle always needs funding. Um, you can bring your own ideas in, and you become part of a community that is really talking about what they want to see happen with Moodle, what directions they want to go into, and it's really giving yourself a voice with the Moodle community that HQ is listening to. So we're about to move all our project proposals right to Tracker so that they're really visible there. So even if they don't get voted on and funded by MUA, they're still going to be in Tracker. And so the other users are going to be able to come in and vote for them. And so that's just going to get more, um, more ideas into the line for future development. Um, so basically, it's just doing that. It's taking resources and turning those ideas into reality. So a very good. Um, way to go. What have we done so far? We've done um, three major projects. We've got one more that's hopefully going to be worked on really soon, and we're about to vote on another one. So um, how many knew that the recycle bin was a Moodle Users Association project? HQ does. <laughs> so just a couple of you, but how did we ever live without Recycle Bin, right? So that was a Moodle Users Association. How many are on 3.3 right now? Wow, not as many as I thought. So we have this really cool new dashboard that came out in 
Um, it really just changed the whole look of it, made it a lot more user-friendly and more functional. And so that was a, um, a user's association project. Great project, um, suggested by just an individual user with a $75 fee, put it in, got voted on, and it's now part of um, Moodle Core. Um, in 3.4, we have a huge calendar rewrite, and that is gonna be really cool. So it's got drag and drop, so you can literally just drag your events from one day to the next, and it'll update. Um, HQ's even managed to incorporate some of the activities into that, so most of the core activities will also be drag and drop on the um, calendar, and it will actually update the date of the activity in the course. Um, it's gonna look a lot more like a Google Calendar or something like that. Um, and so we're really excited about that because it comes out, what, in a few weeks, right, guys? <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> we hope. So I know they're finishing up a couple last little things, but um, it's right there. Um, currently, we are working on a project for question bank tagging, so we're just waiting for some final OKs, and then um, HQ will be working on providing us the... Um, statement of work for that, and hopefully that'll start going into development right away. And that's going to bring some great functionality to quizzes and question banks, allow you to tag questions, and then build quizzes from tagged questions, um, and stuff like that. So that's going to be um, pretty exciting. So we have current goals. Um, I got the dubious pleasure of being made the chair this year. So um, I came in I, and we've had some great leadership to this point. And so I think we've talked about a lot of stuff over the last couple of years. And I think we've finally gotten to a point where we have almost know what we're doing. I won't say we do because we really don't. But um, So I'm hoping that we can really kind of push some of the things that we've been talking about into actually happening. So the biggest thing is to improve communications with members. Um, we have town hall meetings every um, twice a month, so kind of one time for each time zone of the world, kind of. So we have one that works for the Europeans and one that works for the US. And so from those town hall meetings, that was the biggest um, thing, was that we needed to work on our communications. So we've really been actively working on those. We're about to make sure all our deadlines and dates get put on the calendar and pushed out. and. Um, get more co consistent with how we're talking to our members. So we're going to continue on with those town hall meetings. Um, and so as members get to come in, talk with us. We often have an HQ representative there as well. Um, and just talk about what you want to see as an association or even just talk about what we want to see with Moodle development moving forward. And we have some really great discussions. And so that kind of leads into the collaboration with HQ. Um, where we're trying to talk with them about, you know, what our members are talking about, and they normally all align um, fairly naturally. We are working on revising our website. Um, right now, we're working on a page for new members and how they get around and how they find out information and um, just to make that a little user-friendlier. And then, of course, our biggest goal is to keep funding projects and fund more projects. And that's where everyone here can help by joining so don't be a wimp, right? <laughs> and come and join, um, because it's you guys that can help drive this, and so that's really important um, to the whole future. So, um, questions? Nick? They are online meetings. We use Zoom video conferencing. Shameless plug for Zoom that I love. Um, <laughs> And so they, um, the, they're posted on the calendar on the website. They are the first and second Tuesday of every month. So um, I'm not even going to try and tell you the times because we get so lost in time zones. But we did switch the whole site over to UTC site time zone. And we do publish all our dates in UTC. Um, so, but get on there and look at the calendar. Yes. Thank you, good question. So he asked if I could go over the membership types, and yes, I can. So we have four different levels of support. The individual member um, is uh, just the 100 um, Australian dollars, which translates to about 75 US dollars. 
We have a bronze membership at a thousand um, Australian dollars, a silver at 2,500, and a gold at 10,000. Now, you also asked about corporate memberships. We do not allow corporate memberships. Um, we are a users association. So part of the specification for joining is that you are not using Moosh, uh, sorry, Moodle commercially to make money. Um, but as a university or a school or anything like that, yes, we definitely want the users. And so um, that is part of our policy. And yes, you can join as a, corp as a, as a user, as an individual user. The corporation can join. Right, that is right. Sorry, Nick, thank you for that clarification. So if you are you just using Moodle for training your employees, yes, you can definitely come in. Martin? <laughs> is he here? He left. So what Jeff's saying in the back is the basic reasoning behind that was that there's another path for you, so you could become a Moodle partner. Um, and so that is the goal, that we are really for the, just the users of Moodle um, and not for the people that are um, providing Moodle services. Yes? So to clarify that, you can be a corporation as long as you're not selling Moodle services or another LMS. It's not just Moodle, but so for example, if you were selling, I don't know, power school service, something similar. Um, but if you're just using Moodle and you're a user, then you are more than welcome. So other questions? All right, well, I know lunch is ready. I'm gonna put a bunch of flyers just over on one of these tables if you want more information. And our website is um, moodleassociation.org and we have an email there as well. So, but feel free to tag me or Jeff and we're happy to answer questions. <laughs>